Aye, so we're sitting outside the longhouse, um, I think from start to finish it took about a year. Yes, if you added all the pockets of time together. Of course, being sel a self-funding organisation, we have to then go away, earn some money, come back, continue. But yeah, about a year worth yeah. of construction. I think the frame, the frame itself cost about 36,000, um, which was money that the, the, tr the, the trust raised through the voluntary activities that we do. Um, and it was a further... It was the, the same again by the time we had the frame up and then of course the foundations on top of that and then um, mising all the timber uh, for all the planks for the roof Cutting the all the timber, yeah. on site. So we're looking at about 150,000 all in yeah, with so doors on. And we still have several more buildings that we want to build just like this one. It's quite a magnificent building. It's traditionally built. There's no bolts or nails holding it together apart from the roof which was... Uh, you know, building standards, obviously, but the, the framework itself is held together with it's oak, oak tiles. Yep. Yeah, oak pegged. Mm -hmm. And we need about another three or four of these buildings um, to see completion of the project, which is, we've figured out around £800,000 in materials alone. Yeah, we'll do the labour, of course, and um, that helps a lot. Yeah. But overall, the whole project is about three three million pound project, and we are... Uh, about two million into it now. Two million into it. <laughs> two million into it now. Which is just staggering. <laughs> through yeah. through self funding, I might add. I mean, the infrastructure, you know, toilets and office and car parks, we got some funding help, you know, with that. But with regards to the actual project itself, it's all been self funded. We've had no assistance whatsoever, which is quite quite tiring at times because we're constantly on the move. You know, Marlon's up here constantly working. The, the volunteers are out filming as constantly as we can. I mean, the film work doesn't come um, every day, but you know, sometimes it comes like buses. We don't get anything for a while. We run out of cash, so we can't really buy any more materials. And then all of a sudden, we have several, several movie projects to back do. Back to back, yeah. And we get a, a cash injection. That's how it is. So this is why we started the the plaque uh, sponsor a log system, but we're finding that it's a bit difficult for us to maintain that and keep promoting. So we're starting a subscription. So you, the general public, can um, donate five pounds, 10 pounds subscription on a yearly basis mm. uh, with the ability to you know, cancel anytime you want. Um, and for that, you get a plaque on the wall with a message to loved ones um, or in memory of someone. Or in memory of someone. Mm -hmm. You can do that yeah. a lot. Yeah. Or your clan. Yeah. You know, anything you want really, you know, and you will receive a picture of that plaque on its post. Um, and the plaques are looked after. And, um, you know, there's little maintenance, little or no maintenance required because they're, they're wood. And, uh, you know, they withstand the elements up here. They do, they do. And uh, we've uh, the Sponsor Log programme has been running on an annual basis. So, um, because out in the elements, the writing will fade over time. It takes about 12 months. And then if you renew, we then spruce the plaque back up. If not, they get sanded down and then recycled, used again for someone else who wants uh, a message.